Hi guys, just finished watching the Italy against England game. Final score, Italy 5, England 34. A rather uh, stodgy and scrappy game, I have to say. Um, Italy clearly wanted to get England into a bit of an arm wrestle and tried to unsettle them both on and off the ball. Uh, and England got sucked into it at times. Other times they did, they coped with that kind of tactic. Those kind of tactics, okay. Uh, but on the whole, like, England just had too much. Albeit, I think they'll be a bit disappointed. They didn't look as sharp as you'd expect them to be. Albeit, I mean, I say expect them to be in normal circumstances because I understand they haven't played together in a wee while. So that was uh, telling. But um, again, they just had too much quality for the Italians. Ben Youngs who has been mostly pretty poor this year, especially for Leicester Tigers. Uh, and he was poor at the start of this championship for England, but he's bounced back and answered his critics very well. Uh, and he had an excellent game on his 100th cap, scored two tries, took them both very well, to be fair to him. Um, but, yeah, um, apart from that, England, the rest of the team, I thought, by their own standards, did all right. There was nothing I thought, no one I thought was exceptionally spectacular. Uh, but I thought... You know, they all played like, you know, sort of okay. So I think uh, that would be about a 6 or a 7 out of 10 performance from England. But they got it might be enough to get the job done. Uh, so long as uh, France beats Ireland in pa Paris and then the title's England pretty much. But if Ireland win and get the bonus point, then the title goes to Ireland. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. But uh, I'm still predicting France to win, but we'll see there. So... England might be enough to get a job done. We'll see. I don't think they've played the be their best rugby this championship, but they've uh, won four out of five. Five. Um, Italy, on the other hand, uh, again, they showed glimpses at times, but again, just with them um, being accurate in, in crucial uh, places on the pitch and you know making sure they're clinical and ruthless, just shocking in that regard. Like, next to no quality in attack. They got their try off an England mistake, to be fair, and came off a counter-attack, and Jake Pelledri took it very well. But apart from that, there's nothing really to write, not much to write home about with Italy, apart from they made it tough in places for England up front. But, yeah, it was a, it was a very strange game, actually. Um, uh, but, again, it might be enough for England to get the job done. We'll see what happens uh, tonight with France and Ireland. Uh, that should be a good game. There's not really much else I can say about this match, to be honest with you. Uh, I know this review is rather short, but uh, that's all I've got to say in men's match reaction. I'll give a bit more detail on certain things, how I think this championship's gone uh, later on after the France Island game. But in the meantime, hope you um, like the game. Hope you enjoyed what I had to say. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you want, and I'll catch you later on.